Yeah, did you ever think you would imagine yourself with Ed Sheeran, Big Nasty, Chunks in a pub in London? <laughs> did, was that ever in the, uh, the picture? What happened last night? I didn't see that, that one in the cards, nah, but that was incredible. I feel like you and Ed have got something on the way. I don't, like, you've told me nothing that could be completely wrong, <laughs> but I'm like... I'm putting two together. I'm like, is there a song with Ed and Quang Face? And yeah, we have a song and it's insane. We have a song and it's insane. <laughs> What's, uh, yeah. hi, this is like, this is yeah. going to do damage, isn't it? Is this a summer one? Yeah, it's the plan. It's a summer one. It's the plan. Oh, this is over. Yeah, it's, it's over with. Who produced the record? His guy, Fred, produced it. I think uh, his name is Fred, Fred, Fred again. Fred again. Oh, yeah. this, is, this is over. Yeah, yeah this come game on. Up, game over. Come on. That's the number one. Hey, what's up, guys? Thomas Roger here today. And oh my God, guys. Oh my God. That, it, that this summer coming, Ed Times Russ Times produced by Fred again, again, again. Like the, like you, that you saw right there. A few days ago, Russ confirmed an Ed Sheeran collab. Like, like it's, um, I can't wait, guys. I can't wait. Another collab in the books for this year. Whenever that'll be released sometime this summer. And also we've got other collabs on the way as well this year. Just to remind you guys, we've got Aishauna and Ed. Cradle of Filth and Ed. Um, Quang Face and Ed. Uh, of course, the J Balvin collab project. Kodak Black and Ed. I do think one of the Kodak Black collabs will be on the J Balvin collab projects album. I don't know, guys. I do not know. Just me. Theorizing like usual. Yes, I think and I think more as well upcoming as well. Maybe an Anne Marie collaboration like Atlantic Records teased on their social media. Ed Sheeran, Anne Marie, a bop. Maybe Atlantic Records maybe potentially be teasing an Ed Sheeran times Anne Marie the mug on an actual song together. Maybe potentially for a third album. Who knows? Who knows, guys? And I cannot wait. Also, another news, guys, that Ed Sheeran will be performing at the summertime Capital Jingle Bell Ball on the set as well. Such an amazing set this year, you know. Ed hasn't, I don't think Ed, yeah, the last time Ed performed at Summertime Ball, and the only time Ed performed at Summertime Ball, I believe, no, the last time Ed performed at Summertime Ball was 2014. That was crazy, like eight years ago. <clears throat> I'm surprised Ed can fit it in his schedule because, of course, he's got the mathematics tour, like, oh, and I think it's on the 12th of June this year, the 12th of June. That's So I do think Ed's going to do what he did on the Capital, not Capital, Radio, BBC Radio One Big Weekend, like in 2018. We played two shows in one day, um, like the Brighton show as well. Um, like the daytime, Ed performs at the Jingle Bell Ball, Ball and goes back up to Manchester on the 12th of June as well, which, you know, um, you know, exciting times, exciting times are coming, guys, you know. Um, Ed Sheeran, the Mathematics Store, another show starts tonight in Cork, Cork Island. Yes, I, I can't pronounce the stadium name. <laughs> I know it's in Cork Island tonight and tomorrow night. Yes, all, all the island shows starting tonight. Um, and also, a big, a big news. So yeah, Ed will be performing at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June as well. So, so many things happening in June, guys, coming up. I do think Ed's going to perform the Joker and the Queen for the Queen. He has to because, like, the Joker and the Queen, I think I've read somewhere else, is going to perform the National Anthem with other artists as well, which will be amazing. I think Ed's going to perform on the 5th of June. I'm not entirely too sure, guys. He says here, um, Ed Sheeran's top star to the bill of national treasures for a spectacular people's pageant to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. Organised on Tuesday, reveal details of the London showpiece event to mark the monarchy's the monarch's unprecedented 70 years on the throne to be watched by an estimating global audience of 1 billion people, guys. 1 billion people, guys. The pageant comes at the end of four days of more than 800 events over two bank holidays. Wow. And the weekend. They include Trooping the Colour and the Fire, fire Fast on, Tuesday, on Thursday, uh, the 2nd of June, a service of Thanksgiving, Port St. Paul's Cathedral, Friday the 3rd, and a platinum party on, at the Palace on Saturday, the, June the 4th. And the show for you singer, Ed will perform what will be an emotional finale outside of Buckingham Palace on Sunday of the Long Bank Holiday Weekend, guys. So yeah, guys, you know, Ed will be performing, I believe, on the 5th of June at Buckingham Palace, you know, for, to sing pretty much in front of the royal family and the Queen, you know, that's just mind-blowing, literally in front of the Queen on the 70, 70 years on the throne on a plat platinum jubilee, platinum jubilee. And also, you know, 10 years ago, Ed performed the A-Team on a diamond jubilee and then... 20 years ago, we're talking now, Ed saw Eric Clapton perform 
performing Layla. Like it's just mind blowing when Ed was in Layla, and that that was the that was the point where Ed wanted to become what he is today to play the guitar, and then when he saw Damien Rice to write songs and perform on stage, and yeah, it all started. Yeah, twenty years ago, Ed watched Eric Clapton play at that very stage performing Layla, and then that's what Ed wanted to play the guitar because of that. But pretty much. Ten years ago, Ed performed the A-Team, and now he's going to perform again at the Platinum Jubilee this year at Buckingham Palace as well to mark the Queen's 70th anniversary on the throne. Yeah, big news right there, guys. Big news. And, yeah, and if you guys enjoy this video of all the news pretty much this past week, the Russ collab with Ed coming this summer, potentially. Um, Ed to perform at the Capitol Summertime Ball in on June the 12th, and Ed to perform at the Platinum Jubilee on the 5th of June. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.